Hello. It's good to see you. Today I'm going to show you some of the wrapping paper and some of the gift baskets and the things that I have in this container. I have two containers actually. This is one and I keep these under my bed and so if I ever need to wrap a present or if I need a gift bag or something really quick, I have this one and I have another one of those really long flat um, under bed storage plastic containers. So this smaller one here sits on top of the, the larger one and I keep it under my bed and it's wonderful. I used it more when my kids were younger, like, you know, they would get inv invited to birthday parties and stuff and a lot of times you'd find out about it last minute. So we'd have to go out and get a present really quick and then I could just come home and, and get this out, quickly wrap it and get ready to go. So I don't use this stuff as much anymore that now, now that they've gotten older, there's not as much of that. Um, but I still have all this stuff and, and I really need to go through it anyway and see if there's anything in here that maybe I could take out and donate or give away. Like if I have, and I don't know, that's one of the reasons we're looking through it. I don't even know what's in here. If I find some stuff like um, some little kids gift bags and stuff like that. I used to have a ton of those, but I might have actually gotten rid of all of them. If I do, I can give them away because they're just going to sit in here and I'm not going to do anything with them. So, but first I wanted to show you, I looked in the big container over there and mostly what's in there is just random rolls of wrapping paper because you know, like the long rolls won't fit in here. But I have to show you, I went to the little thrift store a few weeks ago and somebody had donated a bunch of older not not super old but older rolls of wrapping paper and i just thought they were so interesting they were selling them for 25 cents a roll i mean they're they're not new i mean they had been used but it's pretty paper i have to show you this paper and a lot of them have this little like a curling ribbon tied around it with a little bow look at that but look at this pretty paper it's it's tulips look it's like yellow yellow tulips and some of this paper is really thick this paper isn't as thick as some of it but it's pretty so these were a quarter and they're so pretty with that yellow oh I have a bunch I got that one oh, this one's been neat this one has an interesting pattern to it look at that let's see if I can unroll it a little bit here it's cut in such a way that I can at it. It almost looks like wallpaper. The underside is, it's brown. It's wrapping paper. It's not wallpaper. It's too thin to be wallpaper, but it's so pretty. It has that shiny silver look to it, and then purple, like a plum color, and teal. It's so pretty. I bought it mainly because I wanted to show it to you. I don't wrap presents as much as I used to. I know at Christmas time I wrap a lot of presents and we'll be doing it again this year. I'm so excited. You know, I buy presents for the Angel Tree Kids every year and I'm, I have already uh, looked into what week to schedule off of work so we can work on that. And I'm saving up. I use my Amazon uh, credit card and I save all my Amazon points all year and I use them to help pay for the, the presents. I'm so excited. So I always have paper for that, but this is just like everyday wrapping paper. It's not Christmassy or anything. Look at this one. Now this paper is kind of thick. What a pattern. The underside is just white like that. It's pretty. It's got, it's like little leaves. It's like it's got little leaves on it. It's kind of a Oh, I don't know, like a little a salmon color, and then you have that teal and that purple again. If I had to guess, I'd say this paper is from the, the 90s, maybe early 90s. That is what's, that's what it's making me think of, is like late 80s, early 90s. Something about the colors. I don't know. I would look at this one. Look, look at it. This one is really cool. It has purple irises on it. Look. And this paper has a texture. It kind of has this squiggly texture to it. 
can't really, I, I'd have to remove the curling ribbon and I'm too lazy to put it back on there. Look at it. It's beautiful though. Look at this paper. It's so pretty. It's like a painting. It almost looks like a painting. Very pretty. I think this is my favorite. The irises. I love that. It's so pretty. This one actually has some extra stuck in it right here. Now this one has, this paper has a lot going on. Look at this. Now if you, if you follow my vlog channel, you've already seen all these because I showed them to you on that channel the day I bought them. Look at this one. Look how vibrant it is. Look how colorful. Wow. It's beautiful. It's just, I need somebody to give a present to just so I can use it. It's beautiful. It has little sunflowers on it and little flowers over here and tomatoes and, I don't know, pears. And there's just a lot going on with this paper. It's beautiful. Peas. It has everything. I screw it. I'm gonna show you this one. I want to look at this one. This might I might like this one a little bit more than the irises actually. Now that I look at it again, I just think it's so interesting. Why does it say Chris? This is Chris and Company right there. I don't know. Look at that. Isn't isn't that just the prettiest? Look at it. Wow. It's just, is that not just the most fun wrapping paper you ever saw? It's just so colorful. You look, you've got string beans. It says they're stringless beans. Apricot, strawberries. Man, it's beautiful. I love this. This was only a quarter for this roll of wrapping paper. Now there's not a lot left on it, but it's just gorgeous. I need to figure out who has a birthday coming up soon and give them a present. I'll go buy them something just so I have something to wrap. But yeah, this, okay, I think, th I think this one is actually my favorite. It's just so colorful. And then I have, well, this one's going to be very anticlimactic. I should have shown you that one last. This has a distinct 90s feel to it. This looks like the wallpaper from the 90s, does it not? Early 90s. Remember when all those, everything was blue and that dusty rose color and those little geese were everywhere? Little geese with the bonnets. They were on every freaking thing in the 90s. My mom fell in love with those geese. Those little geese graced everything in our house. So we went from avocado green and orange shag carpet to geese. It was not a step up. Everything was blue and dusty rose colored. It was a rough time. No wonder I moved out at 17. <laughs> so we have these little flowers. We have pink flowers, little kind of purplish flowers, yellow. It, it's very cheer cheerful. I like all of the yellow. The back side's kind of a, a, a beige color. It may just be because it's so old. I don't know. But, yeah, I think it's really pretty. I like, I do like all of the yellow. It's definitely kind of has a springtime look to it. So, I mean, that's good. It's pretty, though. Yeah. But compared to the one I just showed you a minute ago, it is, it's not quite as flashy as, as the other one. But, it's quite a bit of it on this roll. And this was back, this was back when they made the, the, the wrapping paper tubes out of that really substantial stuff. And I mean, you could really whack somebody with it. I could hit a baseball with this probably. You could beat somebody with this. Those tubes were great when my brother and I were growing up. And we always looked forward to Christmas if there were any empty wrapping paper tubes and we would just beat each other with them and we would tear, tear them up. <laughs> the way they make them now, they don't, they just don't work as well. But I don't. Oh, and uh, I found some Christmas cards. I bought some Christmas cards on Etsy. I want to show you my... I bought some cards for this coming Christmas. Look at these pretty little cards. I go on to, I went on to Etsy and I was looking for a Volkswagen bus themed Christmas cards. So I found this one. It says, Peace and Love. It's from Hella Honey. 
on uh, Etsy. Let's see what it's. Oh, it actually doesn't say anything on the inside. It's blank. But I thought it was cute with the little bus and it's snowing in the little tree. It looks like the tree is already decorated. It's like they stole it from somebody. Why is it already decorated? Is the Grinch in there? I don't know, but I bought a, a box of these cute little cards, and I had some left over. These are some I bought a couple of years ago, and last year I was really bad. I'll tell you what happened. Last year I was so busy in the weeks leading up to Christmas that I totally forgot to send out Christmas cards. I don't think I sent any cards last year at all. I, I think I just forgot. Um... And I never really get any cards, so if I had gotten cards from people, I might have thought about it. But it seems like most of the people in my life have just stopped sending cards altogether. I think that's kind of common. I mean, if you think about, if you, you know, if you do Christmas, I mean, do you, I would be curious to know in the comment section, do you send out cards at Christmas time? And have you noticed a decline in the number of people who do? Because I definitely have. Um, plus, in my family especially, it seems like the older generation was more likely to send cards and unfortunately a lot of them have passed on so they're no longer with us. And the younger generations just don't do it. I, I meant to do it last year and I just completely forgot. But look at this little card. Look at that little bus. There's always a tree on top and it says, all roads lead home for the holidays. And the bus is actually kind of sticking out a little bit from the card, so it's like it's three-dimensional a little bit. And, and on the inside, it just says, Peace and love to you this season. So it's just a cute little tiny little greeting card for the holidays. And all, the, the bus is a little bit sparkly. It's kind of hard to see. It's very um, subtle, but I found these. Actually, I think I found these on eBay. I bought a box of these on there, but I have, I actually have quite a few of those left. Um, I don't know if I have any more. Oh, I bought some more cards on uh, Etsy. This is another pack that I bought on Etsy. It's very similar to the first card that I showed you there. Yeah, they're actually very similar. But these were from Apartment 2, number 2, cards. And they are blank inside. It says peace, love, and happy holidays. And I'm gonna try to do better this year about sending out cards. <laughs> Cause I felt I felt kind of bad because I do I do have a list of people that I try to send cards to every year for Christmas and none of them got a card for me this year because I just Christmas got here so fast and I just was not ready. So I'm gonna try to be more organized this year and try I'm gonna try not to forget again. I found this little bag in, in here too. This had some mini bows in it. Little miniature. It had 15 mini gift wrap bows and a little box. Look at this pretty box. It has a silver ribbon on it with a little bow. And it looks like at some point there might have been some jewelry of some sort, like a pin or something in there. But I like to keep a, a couple of these around just in case I need to put a little present in something. They do come in handy. And I have two pink bows. They are blush and bashful, as you can see. I just have these two. They have survived. And they're both, they're pink and pink. That's what it looks like to me. They're small. But very cute. Look at them. And they have this little bit of adhesive back here on the back. So you just peel away that backing. I hope they still work. They're kind of old, but I'm old and I still work. So maybe the bows will follow that same philosophy. I don't think I'm going to put the box back in there. I'm going to leave that out. I'll just put these in here. I also have a bag of regular size bows. Every year at Christmas time, I always check my bow stash, and if I don't have a lot of bows, I will buy just a bag of just generic bows, and I just keep them around for the rest of the year. They're just different colors. I mean, they'd work for any kind of present, so I buy my bows at Christmas time. 
I also found some gift tags for Christmas presents. These are adhesive and you can see that I have used some of them. I have used a lot of them. Oh, here we have little candy canes, Santa, Christmas tree. Oh, these are cute. I like the little polar bear. The only problem is some of these small tags, you just have a little tiny bit of room to write, so you have to write really small. I like the larger tags better, but these are fine. And I love the fact that they're adhesive, so you don't have to tape them down. You just pull them off like a sticker and just stick them on there. It's so, it's so neat, but I like the larger ones better myself. But I bought these at Walmart at some point for $2.98, and it comes with 74 gift tags. Peel and stick on 11 sheets. And I've already used some, and I always have plenty of tissue paper. Now, this is just regular tissue paper. We have green. We have this sort of a light green, a yellowish green, slightly darker green, and then pink. There's some more of this paper right here, folded over. These would be pretty springtime colors. Look at that, you got the greens and this pink. That'd be really good for a springtime present. And then we have this, we have some plain white paper, but it, look at it, it has these little scalloped edges on it. I like to keep a lot of paper like this, just general purpose tissue paper that you could use for anything. This is fancy though. I bought this at Walmart uh, back last year during the holiday season and I used quite a bit of it, but I still have some left. It's a really good general purpose paper. So sometimes after Christmas, I'll go and see if they have any left over that I can get for half price. But this year I had to work the day after Christmas, so I didn't get to do that. <laughs> I didn't get that day off. I had to work all day. And then when I got off work, I just didn't feel like doing it. We found our first gift bag. Look at this beautiful plaid. I like it. It's green and blue, and it has a little bit of a red stripe that runs through it. This is a good size little bag here. It's very thick too. This is a nice, sturdy, this is not like a Dollar Tree bag. Not to say anything bad about their bags, because let me tell you, they have the cutest little gift bags. And they're a lot cheaper there than going to Target or somewhere like that, or Walmart. It's a lot cheaper. And they're just as good. But this one just feels especially sturdy. Like, I don't know where this came from. It has these little green handles, you see. And then, yeah, that's a nice bag. Medium bag, tartan. Talking about the plaid. Very nice. We have a little... Christmas time bag. It's silver and it has these little snowflakes that are red and white. It's just a little paper bag folded up. That's probably a Dollar Tree bag. More labels. We have more of these gift tags here. Now some of these were larger as you can see. I still have some of the big labels here. I really do like this better because you don't have to write so small. Peel and stick gift tags. We have a little reindeer, snowman, little Christmas tree. I have a new tree to put up this year. I'm excited. I bought, I bought a new Christmas tree and I'm excited to try it out and see how it looks. It's really tall. I hope it's not too tall. I might have bitten off more than I could chew with that tree, but we'll find out. I got it after Christmas really cheap can't wait to see how it looks when I put it up. I have my theme for my two trees this year. Y'all will just have to wait and see what they are. I think you'll like them. We have red wrapping paper with white snowflakes. This is the underside right here. You can see it's like a, a almost pink color. That's a pretty pattern. I like these little, these little snowflakes. They're very pretty. Oh, look at this gift bag. Oh, my goodness. Look, it's a kitty. It looks like my boob. Merry and bright. Some little lights here. Look at that little face. Oh, this is a good size little gift bag, too. I like these. 
I try to keep several around that are different sizes. The little two from card is a plaid. It's a red plaid with a little paw on it. Nice. Oh, here's a big thing. I don't need to buy any more tissue paper. I have a huge thing of it here. Red and green. Why do I have so... You know why I have so much? Because I keep buying it. More peel and stick gift tags. I think these came from Dollar Tree. And I end up buying a lot of these because especially with um, the Angel Tree kids, I always try to make sure I have a pack to put in there for the parents or the guardians. I don't fill them out, but I make sure to put a blank pack of well, something like this in there so they can put tags on the presents because when you drop them off, you don't put tags on them like that. That you leave it up to the parent or the guardian to decide how to do that. There's a whole list of rules you have to follow for the procedure. And you don't have to supply tags, but I always do supply tags and bows for the gifts, too. Little peel and stick bows. I give them a bag of bows and a packet of gift tags. Oh, and I put them all in a pretty um, bag. They all go in a big, pretty bag that's thick enough that you can't see through it. So if they need to hide it somewhere, like if you don't want anybody to see what's inside, I don't know that it matters, but that's what I do. I try to think of things to make it easier for the person picking up the presents. We also have some gift boxes. Originally, this was a 10-pack of uh, holiday gift boxes. But see, they're plain. There's just, looks like there's just one box left in here. Yeah, we could probably do away with that plastic. We don't need that in there. Just this in there but these are great to use year-round so I always make sure to keep just some of the plain white ones like this they don't have a design on them or anything so if I needed a gift box um, I have I have that I have some more in here and I also have some in the big underbed container now this this is a crazy thing I can tell by looking at it that this was pulled off of a present look at it some leftover wrapping paper stuck to it. I kept it just because it was so neat looking. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know what this came off of, but apparently I decided at some point to keep this. It's pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty, pretty colorful. You know what else I have? More tissue paper. Another layer of white regular tissue paper. Yeah. Note to self, don't buy any more tissue paper for a while. You have plenty. I have I have more than enough. Now, I do use a lot of it for the Angel Tree Kids, and but I still think I don't need to buy any more. You can, here is a really good deal. Now, I don't know if there's still this price. Probably not. I bought these several years ago. This is um, the pack of the 10 gift boxes, like the plastic said a minute ago. For $3.24, and I know they're more than that now, you get three different sizes of gift boxes. You get four smaller ones, two medium size, or four, four mediums, and two large gift bags. And they're all folded up in here. And that was only $3.24. For those 10 boxes it's open because i have used some of them but it looks like i still have a lot of the smaller boxes here and the robe size the larger ones and i have one of the medium size boxes left i try to buy them in bulk like that because it's cheaper now this is crepe paper i bought this to make videos with because I'm not fond of the sound of tissue paper. To me, I just don't like it. I know a lot of people do like it. I do not like the sound of the tissue paper in the videos. But crepe paper, there's something softer about it. Look at this color. See, when you handle it, it's, I like the sound it makes. And you know the theme on this channel is I do what I want. I do what I want. And since I wanted this, I bought a bunch of crepe paper. In all different colors. Look at, oh, I have so many colors of crepe paper. I have green, 
different shades of blue, pink, orange, green again, purple, yellow, fuchsia. This is all crepe paper. I think I have actually used it in a couple of videos to wrap things, but for now it just lives in this little storage tote. This, I think, was a birthday card that I bought for one of my kids and I forgot to give it to them. Or more than likely what happened was I bought more than one card and forgot, like, I bought one and then forgot where I put it, so I bought another one. This is one that I bought for somebody, one of my two boys, when they were small. And on the inside it says, May all your dreams come true. Happy birthday. So it's a little dog on the crescent, a little kid and his dog on the crescent moon. And a little sailboat too. A little ship down there. It's on the beach or something. It's very cute. We have a pack of three gift boxes. Now I know these came from Dollar Tree because it says Voila and that's a brand from Dollar Tree. They were a dollar when I bought those probably. Here's a fun little gift bag here. This one is from Walmart or no, it's from Target actually. Wonder Shop by Target and it's just a string of colorful lights. Very pretty. Looks like this is mostly Christmas stuff. Oh, I have a bag in here. I can't wait to show you. Now, this crepe paper was actually wrapped around some gifts from a subscriber that I got a while ago. And I liked it so much, and I liked the sound of it so much that I preserved it. This one is shiny, and it has little butterfly stickers on it. Saved it and then I bought some more to use in videos and I can also use it to wrap presents or whatever I want to do. Big pieces of this violet color. Wow, look at that. I have some fun gift bags in here. Like, you know why I bought this one. <laughs> Santa's coming to town in a plaid Volkswagen bus looking vehicle. That is too cute. I love it. It has it on both sides. This, oh, this came from Dollar Tree. I found this at Dollar Tree. Anytime I find a gift bag with a Volkswagen bus on it, I buy it. Sometimes I actually use them, but a lot of them end up in here. And I, I don't use them because they're so cute, which is ridiculous. I, you know what? I need to make I need to make a plan to go ahead this year and use my Volkswagen bus gift bags. I do because I'm always giving people the advice to, you know, use the guest soap, use the nice dishes. Because if you have guest soap, your guests aren't going to use it anyway. And it will sit in there in that little dusty bowl in the bathroom and it will dry up and crack and then you'll ultimately just throw it away. So go ahead and use the guest soap. Use the fancy dishes. So what? Just do it. I'm going to use the Volkswagen bus gift bags this year. We have one long little sheet of gift tag stickers. Some of them say naughty or nice, no peeking, express yo elf, funny little tags. This is a, tar these came from Target. I don't know how I know. I just look at these and I know these came from Target. They have a Target aura about them, even though most of them are missing I can feel the Target aura coming off of these car, these tags. I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm just saying I can feel the Target aura. Here's a gold box. And it has some cotton or something in it. A little gold gift box. And whenever I need one of these, I can never find it in a store. That's why I hang on to these. I have several because when I need one, I can never find one. These I bought a couple of because I just thought they were so unusual. Now these are Christmas bags here. These came from Dollar Tree. I have two of these. And I like them because it has this purple in it. And it's, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it's, I find it hard. It's unusual to see a Christmas bag with purple in it like this. And the pine cones and everything. And it just says, Seasons Greetings. 
I just thought it was so unusual. I bought two of them. Because it's just, I just thought it was cool. But yeah, I need to use these. I know, I do. I need to use them up. Mm. This one, um, I don't know where this one, I think these also came from Dollar Tree, but I bought these several years ago. I bought two of them. And I love the, I just love the colors. I love the pattern. I love everything about this bag. Look at, it looks very 60s to me, like, like hippie kind of. And look at the two from the little card. It's a giant flower. And it says live, laugh, love, which I know that's a tired old phrase, but I just thought these bags were so pretty. And they're so big. Oh my goodness. That's just great. That's fantastic. Live, laugh, love. Doop. But look at the petals are all kind of different and they have these different colors. There's a little butterfly for no reason. There's another one. Flowers in the corner. Oh, and you get these purple satin ribbon handles for a dollar. Well, they're a dollar and a quarter now, but they were a dollar when I bought them. I bought two of these and I haven't used them. But you know what? Father's Day's coming up. I'll have to use them for Father's Day or a birthday or something. So they're so pretty. They don't need to just languish in this little container. I need to use them. Now here we have some interesting gift stickers. These came from Dollar Tree. Now on the back you can see the adhesive. It's like a little square of adhesive on the back. Um, and they open up, it's like a little, a little book, it's the story of your present, and it has little stuff glued to the front, so it's like a little 3D sticker. Um, yeah, pretty Christmas fun, warm wishes, those are cute, little, little stickers. Oh, I have some wine bags, look at this. I have two. I have one that says, Tis the Season. This beautiful one here with this tree. Oh, and it says, Happy Holidays. How classy. Look at it. It's so classy. Happy Holidays. This one has a gold little label on it with a little sprig of pine cones and holly and it's like a mutant tree because it has a holly leaf, pine needles, and a pine cone, and holly berries. Somebody's been doing science experiments somewhere, but it's a pretty, pretty bag, pretty tag. This one has gold satin handles. This one has silver. I really like this one with this tree. That is so cool. I'm going to go out and buy some booze to give away just to put in those. We have some small tissue paper. These are little, like, strips of tissue paper here. We have pink, red, and green. Sort of a fuchsia red and green. I am well blessed with tissue paper. And a tiny little ring box. Right there. I went through a period of time where I bought a lot of, like, I guess you would call it costume jewelry on eBay. And like rings and stuff, and sometimes they, that's where this box came from, is from a ring that I bought on eBay. Oh, now we're getting into the stuff that I, I'm going to be happy to give away. Although it makes me kind of sad. These are gift bags that I bought just to keep extra on hand when my kids were small. Look at this. We have construction going on here. This is from Dollar Tree. It has the old voila logo. Maybe they still use it. I don't know. I had lots of these little kid-themed bags like this because, again, a lot of times they would be invited to a party and I would find out, like, Friday night, oh, mom, uh, I have an invitation and they pull this wrinkled invitation out of the bottom of their book bag. I've been invited to a birthday party tomorrow morning at 11. Can we go? Can I go, please? I already promised them I'd get them a present. So we would have to dash out to get a present Friday night or early Saturday morning. But this way I could just chuck it in a bag, put in some tissue paper, and be done. But that one I will give away. I will let that go. Oh, 
Here we have a giant gift bag with the tag, and this came from Walmart, I think. But look what's on it. No, actually, this I don't know where it did. I think it came from Walmart. It has a Volkswagen bus on it. Oh my gosh. Yee. I'm always buying them. A piece of paper. That's it. And I have a pack of party invitations. Oh my goodness, the birthday parties. I really kind of miss doing the little birthday parties when they were small. It's so fun. It's so fun. The kids get so excited. We did several of them here at the house. Just, you know, the way that we used to do birthday parties when I was a kid, where you would just go over to the kid's house, you run around outside, squirt each other with water guns or the water hose. You run around and play, you eat some cake, you have some ice cream. And you go out and play some more, and then you go home. <laughs> it was so fun. And we, we, we did several of those here, and several of the parents commented, like, these are like the parties we used to have when I was a kid. I was like, exactly. And the kids had a blast. It was great. It was so fun. <laughs> so sometimes we would just have everybody over here. It was great. Here's another one that can probably go. It is a, a Charlie Brown-themed... Christmas gift bag, Dear Santa Claus. So we have Snoopy, Charlie Brown, and his sister. His baby sister. Look at that. Oh, I got this at Ollie's. Look at that. I can see where I tried to peel off the Ollie's sticker. It was a dollar fifty-eight. Sally. I couldn't think of her name for a second. Sally. Yeah. <laughs> I probably won't use that one. It's cute though little bags. We have some little gift bags. I used to use these a lot more when my kids were small for like doing little goodie bags to, for them to take to school to give to their classmates. Um, I don't really use these anymore. Here's a little bitty birthday bag. We can, we can give these away. I have some thank you cards little thank you cards. I'm going to give those away. And oh yes, we would do the little treat bags for his class. Oh man, they grow up so fast. They really do. If you have little kids, you know people tell you they grow up fast. They really grow up fast. Mm. One day you blink and they're teenagers and you blink again and they're grown and it's just kind of sad. You start looking through like, I'm not ever, I'm not going to need these, you know? Man. That's okay. That's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to grow up. It's all right. Oh, look at this bag. There's a lot going on here. Happy birthday. Ooh, big colorful bag. This is another one from my birthday party stash. There's a pink handle on it. We will, we will give that away. Oh no, a bow. It didn't make it. <laughs> it's flat. We will, we'll catch that one. I'm going to have all of these random little things. More gift bags, more goodie bags. Gosh, I have a lot of those. Oh my goodness, look at this one. <laughs> oh my God, wheels on the bus. Fortunately, my kids didn't want to hear stuff like that over and over again. No, see, here's what you do. Here's a, here's a tip for you. If you haven't had kids yet, but you hope to someday, s get them used to listening to your music, stuff that you like, and they will rather listen to that than freaking wheels on the bus, more than likely. Oh, I had my kids listening to all kinds of stuff, like 70s disco music and stuff like that, like ABBA and I don't know, just... <laughs> all kinds of stuff, old music, but that way it was something that wouldn't drive me crazy to listen to it in the car more than once, but yeah, I think that one can go. I think that's good. Ooh, this one's fun. We have a fire truck gift bag, and it says happy birthday, and it has this deranged looking fire truck creature on it. Look at him. Wow. 
This came from Dollar Tree. It has the Voila label on it. So yeah, I think the fire truck bag can go. And I have some little paper bags here. These were probably bought, uh, probably bought a bunch of these to do little goodie bags for somebody's class. We did a lot of that for the holidays. We would do it for Valentine's Day, Christmas, and stuff like that. Oh my gosh. Ooh, got a Victoria's Secret bag in here. I must have had a shopping trip. I don't even remember. I don't even remember going to Victoria's Secret. This bag is old. <laughs> we will let the Victoria's Secret bag go. And in here, we have a gift box that somebody scribbled all over. Somebody drew, and we have twist ties. Somebody drew all over this thing. I think we can get rid of that. One little strip of tissue paper. A cute little paper bag. It looks like it has red tulips on it and hearts. I think that can go. Another, wow, another one of these gift bags. It's blue and it has little like white snowflakes on it. I need to keep this out where I can find it when I need bags for the angel tree kids. I have an old receipt. It's very faded. It is from Bubbles Kids. That was a consignment shop. How old is this thing? It's from 2008. <laughs> What did I buy? Um, I can't even read it. It looks like I bought a hardback book and something. It was a kid's consignment shop. I don't think they even exist anymore. And then we have some trash. And an envelope of some sort. What is in here? Oh, it's a, oh, wow, that's weird. This is a very old picture from, I'm not sure when. This is from Floyd's Barbershop in Mount Airy. Okay, I have a picture of the original Floyd. His name was not Floyd. I can't remember what his name was. He had had a stroke. This was a long time ago. I don't know why this is in here. It's a picture of the guy that used to cut Andy Griffith's hair when he was young. Gurr, and, and his bar barbershop in Mount Airy that Floyd's Barbershop is based on. And then the Barney Five, we were there for Mayberry Days, my dad and I. This was, God, this was years ago. Um, and I bought a Floyd's Barbershop shirt. I got a picture with the, the Barney Five uh, guy. He does Barney Five. He first found us when we were over at Snappy Lunch and we were having our pork, our pork chop sandwiches. And he gave me a ticket for eating too fast. <laughs> he was hilarious. He's like an eye doctor or something. He's an optometrist or an ophthalmologist or something. But he he does a wonderful Barney Fife impersonation. <laughs> so I don't know why these are in here. We're going to take those out. I'm going to put them with my other pictures. And a little chain. And that's it. That's all that's in here. But I wanted to share with you just some of the interesting stuff that I keep around for wrapping presents, packaging presents, sending cards. And it was good to go through this and, and take some stuff out. So that is everything I had to show you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy getting to see all this fun stuff today. Wasn't expecting the pictures. That was an interesting bonus. And thank you so much for being here. I really hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.